The name of the song that I love to make the name is My Baby for Love. Baby, okay. Um, I love you, my baby. I love you, my baby. You are my baby. I love you. I'm just like you. You just like me. Before we changing on the wings. Papa, we, we we want to be celebrated. If I am a girl like you, Ooh. I was at a house, a beautiful house, I, but I don't know the house name. And then when, when the people found out that we are Congolese, they tried to kill us. They trap all the Congolese was inside. I try to keep them, that's why we are living here. Mara, I linger, I let a lesson as an at a lagos to get up here. Oh, mamma, you take a pimpas, I am a scholar. I at it. I tell our kitchen, my young as I keep on a path as God. And Yamba knows the swam, was the swam young chickies at Yamba, mum, mum, and your mother, and I bang a corner. Oh, my God, yeah. How are you? Find a tube. Where's the cobra? Anna, Mama, e uniform. This one, e uniform. I want one. Get a phone out of every day while we are not. Six. Yes. Right, just get inside there. Hello? Get inside there. I strongly believe that uh, if it was lack of education that contributed to all these problems, lack of tolerance, lack of understanding, then it is again education via the school. That should provide some form of solution to this problem. The preschool, grade one and grade two, must remain here. Okay. Are we clear? The grade three, grade four, grade five, we go out. The name of the school from the pupils, the parents, and the teachers themselves is Good Hope School. It is a school that is trying to regenerate hope in a probably hopeless environment. So number three, what type of climate is South Africa? You know, of all these climates you have learned today, you have got to, to, to see where you, you, you put South Africa. Ours is a school of victims teaching other victims. Most of these people actually lost their jobs, especially the teachers when they moved away from their, their areas. And when they realized that there were people who had lost uh, their schools, schooling time and all that, and uh, they, they were interested in, in working with their children, I think in a way they were able to self-actualize themselves through teaching. Of course, food was available, clothes were given to the people, but people needed much more than that. We'll make a present when she comes, there's no problem.
okay. Um, so the first thing, guys, what we want to do this morning, basically, is to look at uh, um, our personal experiences. We can do that in so many ways. Okay. Either we can do that through drawing. You can express yourself through drawing. You can also express yourself through uh, perhaps writing letters to your former friends, to your former schools, poetry. You can draw, you can express yourself in drawing. How? It's not only that these are the only ones who are traumatized. Even their friends, they left back their former schools. They also miss them. And that link in terms of writing letters or whatever, it shows some form of continuity here and there in terms of their life. And they, I'm sure they can be able to get off it over. And surely those at their former schools can also write them back because they want to know where they are what they are doing, what their conditions are, whether they are also going ahead with their school and so forth. That's exactly what we are trying to do. La Pabatata. Okay. Looting. Okay. La Pabatata is wound. Okay. So here they are looting, or oh, this one is now the burning it. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. What is this? Police. Oh, it's the police coming yeah. in. Okay, people are running away, looting and so forth. All right. And here, babla la ban too much. Oh, babla la ban. They're killing people there. All right. And that's fine. Yeah, this one, they're dead. Okay. And that's fine. Okay. 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 I was a teacher in Zimbabwe for the past 14 years, and um, because of uh, difficulties, problems, I moved to South Africa where I worked in the construction industry. I'm a father of um, yeah, <laughs> two children. Um, I have a lovely wife. She's a teacher back home. She, her name is Catherine. We communicate through um, phones and so forth. It is quite dangerous for, for one to be, to be a teacher back home. Most of them have been uh, displaced, beaten, or forced to move out of their schools and so forth. But my kids have to uh, grow up together with their both parents, father and uh, mother, but I have absconded that responsibility, that responsibility because of problems. speak you know, the language of South Africa well. That's why we are here. Because the Mazin found us, we must be safe here. Okay, okay, okay. Do you know the dance of the week? Yes! Do you know the dance of the week? Yes! Okay, let's count the dance of the week from Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, if you look at the children across the spectrum, uh, there is enough evidence to show that these kids have been affected by the violence. There's a lot of fighting, even in class beating each other and all those other things. I'm, 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 I'm sure it's not normal of children to do that. To do that. When the kaka is teacher, he come to hear them and then beat the one who beat them. 
So that's what the school is about. We are trying to learn, you know, go up nicely. That's what we are trying to do. That's what we are learning in school. And when my brother will grow up, I want him to be a good person. A really good person. Good to open academy school, P Box 200 Airport, 6 June 2008. Hi, Brian. I don't come again in Ramapos. You want me, you try to phone or you come in the airport. Because I lost your, your parents and your property. I have no more ways to write this letter. They will kill a number of people, especially the foreigners and some of some whom are not able to talk to them. And some became a lamb. And the others they still have some injuries. They are still afraid of South Africa as a whole. And it's not only the foreigners that are afraid, but also the people in South Africa. They are also afraid of themselves and their neighbors. It's like a brother being afraid of a brother. How can we remove this fear? The removal of this fear is probably what would take time and what would regard as a, probably a process that requires a number of people to play their roles, like we are doing at our school. It's not something that you can do overnight. It is a process. But you can form the educators. Maybe we'll be here. It's from Minister of Education. His crew is coming by 3 o'clock to talk to the parents, they, whether they will um, eager to let their children go back to their former schools. Uspongile is a gulisame. Oh, Nayo. A young respecter, and then a problem. I also go bonke by and just, yeah. You so. My Java Fuki Bakara say on a jet. Initially, the people were afraid of even going out there because uh, there was that fear. But now I can see they are really expressing themselves in a way that shows that uh, some healing is taking place. One, two, three. Gold's trading at $865 exactly an ounce. The rand is at $810 to the dollar, $1580 to the pound, and $1245 to the euro. We are sorry about everything ANZ get clean. Okay? We understand that there are parents who still want to take their children to school. Some of them have got a problem of scholar transport. Dinasu education, Dinasu transport, Yamahala, Ezom Tatum Dona like 18, Ibue is on Lega like 18. Okay? Some Tambena in Suezu trees of Kala, Tabasina choose Abana Bo, Mamabas of Kapa Batuana, Nisho, Bacheku, which was safe. Then is Babu is free of charge. No learner will be deprived an opportunity of going to school. You don't have to worry about anything. Any question? Nisa, do you agree that we take the names of your children so that we can organize transport for you? Yes. Oh, yeah, but it's fine. Then we are going to organize transport. Okay. Okay. 
When I go back at school, they go to see this thing, and when they see this thing, they say, Oh, this is, this is, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Changani. Let's go and hit him and kill him. When they kill him, they are killing me. Ah. I'm scared to go back to my school because the, the other children of Zulu people, they're saying that the Kwere are taking us, and they are taking our father's work and our father's wife, and then they make us to be, you know, and then they hit us. No, no, no. No, no labo. Lingela nga bayang tuga batting ya ma, menanga bayagel and a sazalena. South Africans that doesn't want us to be with them because that doesn't love us. The other South Africans that are supporting us, but the others that are trying to kill us. If the other people die, we are, we are allowed to stay alive. What we, we do to South Africans, we are brothers and sisters, we love South Africans, but why they are hurting us? We love all the South African people. People is left to depend on each other. It is also our responsibility as a government to educate our parents, to say, as a government, there is no role we can play because in this setup, I'm talking about the past, because We've got our own description of what the policy is, or of what a school is. It's not a problem of saying we want a school or we want what, we, we want nothing, but we want to assist these kids. We've got our way of assisting, you know. It's not something that we can change overnight because there is a disaster, you know. Benny, have you ever been in the schools where these kids were going before? Last week or to verify whether they can be safe in those schools or... Have you ever been into the schools? You know, I want to be honest with you. I've been busy with shelters. I haven't gone there too. Okay. But I so know that there's been... I think it was better for us to, if you would go first to the schools, ne, and see the approach of the children against the children. What's the problem with these children of ours? When they end up like when they go to the Kato school, ne, as soon as they get to the gates, they are called, Chamas! 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 You see? So we, are, we have got fear about that. The whole issue of safety, you know, unfortunately, safety is something you cannot guarantee, you know. Is that if you look at what happened, because you, you know, guys, I, I want to, to be honest with you. From all these shelters, this is the only shelter that is having a school. Okay, a school. This is the only shelter. These other shelters, we haven't received any resistance yeah, in terms are, of learners being... We are very worried being. about that. that yeah, in other shelters, there are no schools. Mm. It is very worrisome. Mm. It's not going to be easy to simply reintegrate these people. So I think we are going to say, as government, we are actually thinking of having schools in this other camp because these children are not doing anything. They are not learning. But no, I think no, no. this is the camp where we have production. Mm. No, no, no. Say, thank I, you for that. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't say there is a problem. I said that this is the only shelter that is having a school. And unfortunately, it happens to be the only shelter that is having a problem with releasing the children. At the end of the day, we will do what parents want. We are going to, do, we are going to stop this school today. We are ready for Maybe after that, we're going to see what we can do. Because so they're coming this morning, these parents. They're asking us. That's already the thing. Okay, we, we uh, uh, Hudson.
They find play with you every day. And they find that give you much toys. They find can care for you and love you. They find can teach you how to be loved. That's what it means to be a best friend to somebody. If you don't want to go, where do you want to stay? Which place you want? You know, I love my friend too much. She was a, such a good friend to me. She was keeping me. I was only seven, she was nine. She was also a Congolese. We was living together. But you know, my mother took me in the hand. I tried to save her. My mother took me in the hand. We must run away faster before they kill us. And I killed my best friend's mother and father. They kill her brother. My friend was in the back of me. I tried to, to touch her. My, my mother took me in the hand faster and we fall down. And then she, my friend was in the back of me, so that shot her. My mother saved my life. But I, I tried to save also her life, but that shot her. When I killed her, I was very disappointed. I lost my own friend who cared for me and loved me. I need that back because those people who kill her, that make me very angry. I miss her too much. She was my best friend, my good friend to love me. I was still worrying about her. I can't forget her. She was my very really good friend. The name of her was Tetia. She was a good friend of mine.